Greetings, fellow earthlings, star seeds, light workers, healers, seers, readers, dreamers, cheaters, non believers, overachievers, those with FOMO out there with the fever. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lake Tribe. If this is your first time, allow me to introduce myself. The name is Chief Moki Wish, and I will be your guide as we channel the divine. I hope you all are doing mighty fine. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing your energy and your time and allowing me to share mine. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel the vibe. Drop a comment down below with a timestamp if this message resonates with you. This is a general read for the collective. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Guys, I got a bunch of links down below in the description that are available to you if you enjoy this content in order to help the channel grow, in order to keep the lights on. So everything is greatly appreciated, never expected. Let's get into this. Alrighty, right away. Got the hermit coming out. Somebody's out there doing some, some introspection. The three of wands showing up. Taking a look at the big picture. That's like a confirmation card right there. Woo! Tower in reverse. Okay, so there's some inevitable, uh, inevitable chaos here. Trying to delay it. All right. So something, something out there needs to end. Somebody is possibly delaying it. But once this ends, there will be justice. So this could be a blessing in disguise. You know, you, you can't. Life is full of waves, full of cycles. And the more that you try and fight that, the uh, more challenging it can get. So. My best advice to somebody out there is to let the tower fall and rebuild on stronger foundation. King of Pentacles is showing up here. King of Pentacles is very wealthy, abundant, prosperous in earthly materials. He's in the present moment ruling over the kingdom so this could this could be bringing some abundance of some sort of material earthly um, you know earthly material yeah so this tower needs to come down at the bottom we got the seven of pentacles so yeah Definitely some uh, something to do with finances or some kind of earth, some kind of earthly abundance. Once this once this tower comes down, we got the sun card. Yeah, you see, the sun will come out. The sun will come out. You gotta let this this tower come down this king of pentacles over here is he's bringing warmth spirit can we get something else about this tower in reverse it 
it could actually be a, a disaster avoided in reverse. So you could be getting insight from, you know, seeking the truth, the overall big picture. You avoided, you avoided uh, some kind of, some kind of a uh, disaster, some kind of chaotic disaster, and it brought justice. It shined the light sun right it shined the light on things and that brought justice and it brought abundance spirit what else do we need to know about this hermit energy for the collective Queen of Wands. So this this could have had to do with the Queen of Wands figure. Somebody who is fiery. Female energy. Fiery. Popular. Somebody who is active. <laughs> yeah, so possibly after avoiding this disaster, it, it introduced a time to rebuild. Right? Some kind of teamwork here was needed. I also see that this Queen of Wands is actually a little bit naive, a little foolish, uh, reckless in regards to her actions. That could be why this tower moment was on the horizon. This hermit avoided it. So yeah, maybe some re-establishing of some kind of, yeah, community here. You see that? Four of Wands. Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Four of, four of Wands is like celebration lined up with this King of Pentacles. What is the overall message that we need to know about this hermit energy? Recognition, victory, two of pentacles in reverse at the bottom. So it could have been a, could have been a, a juggle, choices. It could have went either way. I'm seeing it could have went either way. If this tower was to come down, it still would have came out like this. but it would have been a lot more challenging. So basically this, this hermit energy here, whoever this is for is, is in the light. The sun will always shine on you. 
but you must remain aware, remain humble, remain thankful. Let's see what sign comes up here. All right, we got Leo in the sixth house. Mars. All right, so. What we got here. We got Leo in the sixth house of Venus. Sixth house has to do with health, hygiene, daily routines, community. Leo is confidence, leadership, pride, being the center of attention. Venus has to do with love, attraction, relationships, art, beauty, harmony. So. That's all I got for you. If you enjoy the way that I read and you want to book me for a personal reading, just check out the links down below. Send me an email and we'll set something up. I'm wishing you love, light, healing, longevity, peace, and harmony. May the light find you all well with infinite love and gratitude. Yeah.